Hey, what is up guys? Thank you so much for the support. This video has been out for over a year now, well, almost a year now, and it's gotten over 18,000 views. I really appreciate all the support I am getting. I will continue to make plugin tutorials. Thank you. Here's to another year of plugin tutorials. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Enjoy the video. What is up guys my name is kev5 and i hope you enjoyed that little intro i know it was a bit long so if you had to skip through to this part i do not mind at all so let's get started we are going to be walking you through each basic function of permissions ex starting with setting up the groups in the permissions.yml now i did not explain this in as much detail as i felt i should have in the last video which is why i felt i must make an updated video in this video, I will be explaining how to make prefixes, set defaults, add permissions, add inheritance. Those are some of the key basic things that you want to know in this plugin. You can also do it with commands too, which I will walk you through the commands. Okay, let's get started. So first off, let's just start out with a new group. So you're going to see this is a default thing. I've created this uh, and I will be handing it out. This is an updated version of the last permissions.yml I gave out. Well, I am planning on updating this for you guys. So we're going to start with a group called Builder. And we're going to, by default, with this stupid program, you got to do a bunch of things. But anyway, so we don't want Builder to be default. When you first join, you do not want them to automatically be a Builder. So you're going to want to set that to false. And then you're going to want to back. And then the um, next thing you're going to want is a prefix. So to set a prefix, you would do that. Uh, generally, I believe it's four spaces. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four spaces. Uh, then, for example, how I'm doing my formats for this uh, basic permissions.yml, we're going to be doing at f a bracket. And what color would I like builder to be? I'm going to go with an at six, which is orange. Uh, builder. And then we're going to go with an at f and another bracket. This will make builder orange inside of white brackets. And then we're going to do at f and then that. That will essentially uh, just, I don't know what the at the end f afterwards does. I just kind of do it. Natural habit I've gotten into with setting up these sorts of things. So anyway, now time to add the permissions. Now the permissions are generally a lot of uh, what the group can do. So say you want them to be able to build, you'd give them certain permissions. Uh, for example, maybe you want them to have world edit dot star. That's all world edit permissions. That's not recommended if you do not trust your builders because world edit can be abused. <laughs> it can really be abused uh, sometimes to the point where it's just extensive and it's just bad. Um, so the next thing we're going to want to add is um, say you want them to be able to fly essentials dot fly. Um, then you want them to have essentials dot game mode to be able to switch game modes. And for this group, I am not going to add inheritance. Although if you wanted to, you could do it like this. So you would go inheritance. And then you would say you would do it a space and enter. And then you would add the group. So say you wanted to inherit member so yeah I didn't want it to inherit member but I don't want any group to inherit builder so I'm not going to add builder to any of the inheritance things at all because that would be bad now as you can see default this option is only added to the one group that I am setting it to true for you do not have to have default set or the default option under any of these uh, it is not required and thus not needed at all so that's basically it for setting up a group it's very easy very simple uh you can also add other things i, I know you can add an option for other stuff let me get to that real quick and then i'll show you all right so basically in order to do this you're going to want to go enter options and this will add an options feature then you're going to want to do four spaces after options and I believe if I read this right, yes, rank, and then the cost of the rank. So say you want member to start out at a thousand. Uh, this is basically how rank up systems would work with permissions ex. Um, you can also do it. Say you want uh, VIP to be a rank up. Of course, we're not going to, but if we wanted to, you would do this. 
then one, two, three, four, rank, and the next rank it would be is, let's say, 800 cost. That is essentially how you would set that up, although that is not what we're going to do. We do not want to, I do not want to turn um, this into a prison only permissions that way. Of course it wouldn't be, but we just don't want that anyway. So next, let's get on to how to install Permission CX and how to take the permissions YML I'm giving you and to insert it into your server. So let's get to that part. Now this is just a quick guide to let everyone know this. Now, for some reason, the latest versions of Permissions EX do not work properly. I believe that they were updated, yes, to 1.8. And due to this reason, they do not work correctly with your server. So if you have a 1.7.9 or a 1.7.10 server, I recommend downloading this version of Permissions EX, which I will provide a direct link to this version in the description below. But I will also provide a link to the just the regular Permissions EX page as well, in case you do have a later version server. So to install it, you're going to want to stop your server. This is the most recommended way of doing it. Go to your FTP file access. Uh, depending on your server host, this might be different. Generally, it looks about the same though. You're going to want to go to, into your plugins folder. And as you can see, I believe, no, I don't have Permission ZX installed on this version yet. Um, so anyway, you would do this, drag and drop it, wait for it to load. Of course, dragging and dropping isn't always the case, depending on your server hoster. Again, it could be different. Wait for it to upload. Then you're going to want to exit out of your FTP, which uh, of course is what you should do. Uh, go and start up your server again. Uh, if you want to sit in console and wait for it, I'm going to pause and wait until it starts up because it takes a while. Okay, so now Permission ZX is fully loaded into your server. I have started up Minecraft. It is completely prepared for what I am going to do. Now let me just make sure I'm off real quick. Yes, I'm off. So one thing you're going to need with this plugin is a essentially a chat manager plugin. I highly recommend Essentials. Um, Essentials you can get from this link, which I will also provide uh, right here. Um, Essentials comes in a zip, so you're going to need to unzip it before installing it in your server. But Essentials is essential for your server. It's extremely good, comes with a lot of commands, a lot of other stuff. I will provide the video link. I made a tutorial on this video, uh, so be sure to check that out. Um, it's really essential you have a chat manager plugin if you want prefixes and stuff to show up. So anyway, let's get this permissions.yml into your server now. So you're going to want to log back into your FTP, go to plugins, go to permissions EX. You're going to want to take this permissions.yml and you can delete it if you want, or you can edit it and add the text from the other one. I recommend just deleting it because uh, that's basically the best way to do it. You're going to want to find your permissions.yml. I have uploaded that now. You should be able to edit it and see everything that I've done. It's all right here, which is pretty good. Uh, I think everything's set up now. Um, essentially, now you just back out, uh, go into console, type pex reload, and now I'm going to do pex, or is it pex groups? I believe it's pex groups. If I'm correct, yeah, pex groups. So it'll show all of the groups that I have made so far. So that's pretty neat. Um, now let's see if I test. Yes, it's already set up. Um, as you can see, I am now a member by default. All right, so a quick thing to note is that in console, you'll actually have to go in console and add yourself to the group first off, um, owner, and then you can be able to add yourself to other groups as well. I don't know if this is a glitch or a bug with the plugin itself, but it's fairly simple to do, and once you do it, you can add yourself to any group. Like now I am in admin group, uh, let me add myself. I'll show you each of the prefixes. VIP, uh, test. Uh, let's add myself to moderator. Test. Everything works. It's all great. It all looks good. Owner, admin, VIP, moderator. Uh, you can change these as you like to the different color codes, which I will provide in the description below for the color codes for the prefixes and suffixes you would like to set up. Uh, there, you can also do this with commands as well, um, but I just I like it old-fashioned permissions uh, .yml editing. Uh, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, which was updated, uh, please be sure to hit that like button, share it around if you know anyone that needs help with this. 
And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. If you have any plugin tutorial recommendations, please leave them in the com comment section below. And have a wonderful day, guys.